Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is how to add vocal echoes in the PC browser version of BandLab. Click on the vocal track to select it. Then click on Effects at the bottom of the screen. Now click on Add Effect. Click on Delay on the pop-up menu. Then click on Filter Echo Plus. The time section sets how quick the echo repeats are. It is set to 1 over 4 beats. The 1 over 4 means each echo repeat is delayed by a quarter note. Beats means the echo repeats are locked to the song tempo. So if you speed up the song tempo, the repeats speed up too. Press on the vertical slider and drag up the screen to slow down the echo repeats or drag down the screen to speed up the echo repeats. Here we are again. Here we are again. Here we are again. Here we are again. For a more precise control of the speed of the repeats, click on Beat. Then click on MS on the pop-up menu. Time is now shown in milliseconds. You can now either drag up or down on the slider to change the repeat speed. Or click on the number box and type in the amount of milliseconds. The Mix section sets the volume of the original sound versus the volume of the echo repeats. Press on the vertical slider and drag up the screen to increase the mix percentage. Or drag down the screen to decrease the mix percentage. At 0% the original sound is at full volume and the repeats are at zero volume. again at 100% the repeats are at full volume and the original sound is at zero volume here we are again here we are again At 50%, both the original sound and the repeats are at the same volume. Here we are again. 
Feedback sets how many echo repeats there are. Each repeat is not as loud as the last one. Press on Feedback and drag up the screen to increase the number of repeats, or down the screen to decrease the number of repeats. Here we are The cutoff section is a low pass filter, so it removes the higher frequencies from the echo repeats. Press on the vertical slider and drag down the screen to remove higher frequencies. Setting the cutoff so it is about 2000 Hz will stop the repeats from hiding the vocals in the mix. Adding the filter Echo Plus directly to the vocal track is great if you want all your vocals to have an echo. But usually you want echoes on only certain parts of your vocals, like the last word of a line. So to do this, click on the X icon to remove the filter Echo Plus effect. Click on the three dots on the vocal track header. And click on Duplicate Track on the pop-up menu. Now click on the duplicate track to select it. Click on Add Effect. Click on Delay on the pop-up menu. Then click on Filter Echo Plus. Now click on the Mix text box and type in 100. This will set it so only the echo repeats are heard. Now set time, cutoff and feedback to your preferred setting. Now press on the track position marker and drag it to the beginning of the last word of the line. Then right mouse click on the duplicate audio recording. And click on slice on the pop-up menu. Now right mouse click before the slice on the duplicate vocal recording. And click on delete on the pop-up menu. Here we are again. Here we are again. Here we are again. 
love again. Press on the dot on the volume slider on the duplicate track and drag left or right to adjust the volume of the echo repeats. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.